Hello friends, it's Saturday, how's it going? We have half again the number, the thousand number on the subscriber count, so there's a lot of us here. You guys, I'm having a really great time in the comments, like, you guys are awesome. Uh, everybody's super polite and helpful and sympathetic to my plights. Um, I'm super excited about this. I've like almost completely stopped paying attention to my other channel. <laughs> but I'm having so much fun here, so... I'm gonna do what works for me. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm having a great time. Thank each and every one of you for being here. Uh, it's awesome that you are here and watching these and are enjoying them. So, today is Saturday. I spent last night doing chores and this morning doing chores and then I got my car washed and I did some yard work and stuff like that and now I am ready to sew except I have a friend who's gonna come over and hang out with me while I sew and I don't really know how to handle that. <laughs> I've never had to do it before so we'll see how that goes. Um, things I need to do today. I need to iron this shirt. I was wearing it yesterday um, and I noticed that this and is coming up on my chillin' like a villain shirt, and I just bought this, so I'm super bummed about that. So, gotta do that. Um, this guy's lining is gonna go in for sure. I'm gonna try to cut out the skirt robe, robe skirt, whatever you call that, the bottom half of the robe. Um, I know I can't hem it until I get the petticoats done. I need to do an under petticoat and an over petticoat and that's great because the under petticoat will give me practice before I do the over petticoat. But I have a nice matching red fabric for that. I am hoping to get both of those things done this weekend. So we'll see how. Okay, so we got mail. Um, this is a Regency bonnet. It came from Penny River Costumes. She, It's adjustable and it's black silk. So if I get desperate, I can wear this on my trip. I don't get, get desperate, I will make my own Regency bonnet. I got some pins, glass headed pins. I have only been using quilter's pins, so they're starting to melt. So I thought I would get something I could iron. And then I got these little flat head pins, but they got little birdies on them. And that reminded me of Angry Birds, which I don't play anymore, but was fun. Okay, so we got more mail. Um, this poster came and it's very... looks like by the same people who made that poster, basically. Um, the Young Ladies Journal. So let me do a flyby for you. This is where that gimbal would come in handy. That gimbal failed out, by the way, guys. It, my camera is actually too late for it, so I ordered another one, and it is already here. And I have to figure out how to use that one. So this is what's on this one, and I have one more. And the last one was 1886. This one's 1887 from the same place. And the one on my wall is 1888. So you can kind of see the shape, like less trim, less butt, sort of moving into Edwardian. Very, very slowly. Okay, I'm pinning the lining in. What the heck? <laughs> like, did I order fish hook pins? Like, how, what, Como? I'm confused. I've had like four of these in this this thing. Unclear. <laughs> we are feature complete on lining. It is lined and pressed within an inch of its life and cornered and all that stuff. I'm not worried about this gap here because my boobs will be significantly flatter and higher than what is available here. These guys don't move. That is like the failing of, I'm just like feeling this checkup. Um, Brunhilde, you're hot. Um, that's the failing of the Uniquely You. Like, those aren't boobs. So, most people saw their boobs off of their Uniquely You and then, um, end up using, like, bags of barley or whatever to simulate boobs. So, uh, maybe someday I will do that when I make her Uniquely Me. Um, <laughs> I've patted her out a little bit to be vaguely my shape, but, like, she has hips way bigger than mine are, like... My hips are not like this, and she has a way bigger badunka dunk than I do. Mine is like perfectly flat, so that is not an accurate representation of me by any standard. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go work on skirts now for this robe. I read all the instructions. I am not completely clear, but we'll get there. Okay. 
All right, I got two weird problems. <laughs> the first one is this is just the same piece of fabric and I just cut it in half, right? <sighs> so it's all lined up over here. Everything's perfect in this corner. And it's perfectly the same length because they're supposed to be. And then I get over here and the top layer is like off by like, I don't know, quarter inch, like a little bit more than a quarter inch, at three, three eighths. I don't know. It's off by a lot. And I'm like, WTF, it's the same freaking fabric. <laughs> I don't even understand. It's okay, I'm gonna cut it anyway. <laughs> Somebody can tell me why that happened, cool. Because these all, this, these two line up this whole length and it's the same fabric, it's off the same bolt. It's too late by then, so I'm already gonna cut, I'm cutting this now. <laughs> Everybody always tells me like, oh, you should do this. But they, I think people forget that like, I filmed this a week ago from when you guys are seeing it. So like, yeah. It's too late. Um, but I do get a lot of good information for next time. Okay, so the second problem is this, these skirts, like, it's, this is just one panel and there's two panels that need to get cut, so you double this. But my fabric isn't actually as wide as it needs to be to cut this as one width of fabric. So, I have to cut this from here to here, which is the pocket line, and then I'm gonna cut another set of fabric from there to there, and I'm gonna have a seam running down them, basically, like, on the side seam, essentially. Um, so I had to have 47 inches because that's the length from my waist over my pocket ho hoops to the floor. <laughs> I had exactly four times 47 inches left. All of this fabric over here is still gonna be left over for me to cut trim with and stuff because um, I won't need it, but like, damn, that was close. <laughs> so anyway, I am gonna go ahead and commence with that business now. Okay, so it's like 12.15 in the morning. <laughs> I have two skirt halves. This is one skirt half consisting of two pieces. I made the pieces join at the pocket hole, so that kind of makes sense because it'll be on the side. And here's the second one. And they have these extra wide facings on the front of the robe. Um, I will do a facing as the hem also, but I need to wait until the hem is set. Anyway, I have these pinned in, um, I'm ready to go, and I'm supposed to hand hem these in before I join these two pieces together and then start pleating the crap out of them. But we have this problem. So, <laughs> not really sure, like I don't, I can't, obviously can't go to Joanne in the middle of the night, so I have to wait till tomorrow, so I might go do as much of this hand hemming as I can do and then um, just wait until the morning I guess for the rest of it. I need to like take care of my cats and you know clean out their boxes and stuff before I go to sleep anyway. So I think I'm gonna go do that and call it a night. Um, so today I got the lining in. Finally, finally the lining's in. And I got the skirt like mostly created, like I just have to sew them together essentially. And then that'll be done being created. Um, oh, and that ends obviously the summing, um, which will take me about an hour or two. Um, I'm a slow hand sewer guys, like super slow. And this wants super invisible stitches. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'll try to figure that out. Um, <laughs> so, Part of me wants to use like my sewing machine and just use the hammer foot and hem it and call it good. Um, but I guess I'll try for period accuracy. Um, so that's where we're at with that. So I'm gonna go deal with those other things. I might start editing this vlog already. Um, I tend to like try to dump the footage in every couple days anyway and do that so that I don't have to edit forever when it's time to put this up for you. So anyway, I feel like I didn't get as far as I could have, but I did do a lot of like housework and stuff today too. And like I hung out with my friend and I did yard work and I got my car washed and I played with my kitties. So it's not like I'm a failure here, but I was like hoping to get more done because this is this project's been taking a while and I really just want it done. Um, yeah, so we'll try to uh, get the skirts together and pleated, maybe? 
tomorrow. We'll see. And then I'm going to stop and do um, the petticoat, the under petticoat and the petticoat after that. So we'll be moving along. What up, peeps? Okay, it's Sunday. Um, I have went out and had breakfast. I went to Joanne and got thread and also tiny ribbon so that I can put a like bustle in this I guess there's like little side loops that you can poof this up with <laughs> so I bought the ribbon for that um I did manage last night um surprisingly to get at least one hem in um I didn't really have time for two because it took me about an hour so this is what that looks like teeny tiny little stitches I'm like can I even zoom enough to see yeah Maybe. I don't even know if this is focusing. Um, let me flip it over. The stitches are like almost invisible, which I'm like super proud of. Um, my hand sewing sucks, <laughs> guys. Like I'm not good at it. I'm, I'm really, really not good at it. Um, I do, as you can see, right on my seam allowances. So I'm like, this is the front and there's one that says top because it was like when I cut them, I made sure that the two tops went together and the two bottoms went together so they were directionally correct. Ugh. But yeah, I write all over my stuff. Um, this is how I finished the inside. This is like the pocket hole. And I do like, I did zigzag all the way around these yesterday. That's part of what took so long was I like, I zigzag all the way around them so that the seams are always finished even even though I know the hem is gonna come off I I do that anyway I think I'm gonna go hem this guy um and that's just me sitting in my bed hand sewing so that's kind of boring um so I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna come back and work on getting these together um and then we start the great pleading which we'll see if that happens today okay okay the skirt is formed was the back seam just pressed. I'm going to go ahead and read the instructions like 12 more times and then <laughs> start attempting the pleating process, um, which I'm moderately nervous about, as you can imagine. <laughs> so we will see how this goes. Great experiments in costuming. Okay, I'm here to throw a little bit of anxiety at you, I guess. <laughs> um, so I'm pleating this. There are some pleats. The thing is, like, I'm following directions and none of it makes sense to me because they say to find the halfway point, so I found that. And I'm pleating in, and then they say to put the halfway point at this notch, which is here. Meanwhile, she said, measure the distance between the first notch, which is here, and the back, which is there. That's 17 inches. Obviously this notch is more like way more like in fact this is 11 inches and this is 6 inches and she's saying the halfway mark is supposed to go here and I'm like that's crazy talk so oh, I just dropped all my pants okay great <laughs> um, because like this would be 6 inches including the facing which is like an inch like doesn't get pleated so you just stick that in there and then and then what <laughs> like the other five inches is for half of it, while the other half is 11 inches of that. So, okay, even so, I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to do it at this pocket split is going to be the, is where I'm going to put that notch probably. But even so, I have to pleat this so that this becomes 11 inches. But I have no idea. I won't have any idea until it's like far too late if I pleated it too tightly or not. Like I'm following the directions she gave me and it already seems like it's gonna, like this is only like two and a half inches and, and it would be need to be 11 inches to be here. And I'm like, well that's basically what's there. So I guess I don't understand. I guess I really just don't understand. So I'm gonna keep pleading <laughs> and hoping that this all works out. Okay, I think I have to pull all these out, because I don't think, like, I did a quick trial, and it was going to be, like, seven inches long. So, all of these have to get pulled out, and I have to start over with, like, 
plates with less material in them because these are the size of the plates are supposed to be so less deep I guess I, I gotta go figure this out anyway blah okay I think the answer is in how deep the plates are so I did get it from here and the pockets like in here like you can see the hole um, you're supposed to put it on the inside of a plate this is the 11 inches that it needs to be to get to that first thing. So now I have to put all of this into six inches where an inch and three eighths of it is supposed to not for sure be pleated. So these pleats I think have to be deeper. So, but look the same on the outside as these. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, might stop after that to get some food maybe. Maybe I'll go make some oatmeal or something. Um, and then I'll do the other side. And then I'm gonna baste it all down. Possibly twice. I might baste like this line and this line just to keep it really awesome for when it has to go through the sewing machine because I don't even know how this is gonna work out. <laughs> but we're gonna find out. So um, that's where we're at with that. Um, once that's together though, we're in the money and we are done except to hem and the closure and maybe some sleeve flounces but I have this like running list of little things that need to get done at the end. I think all of the stuff has little stuff that needs to get done so we'll see. Okay we have one side done and it's exactly 17 inches so I'm calling this good and I will go work on the other side in just a few minutes. Um, I think actually I might go downstairs and watch Game of Thrones and have some dinner, etc. <laughs> I need a break. Um, I wanted to mention that I finished The Clockmaker's Daughter and it was hard to get into but r really good at the end. The mystery is crazy in that one and it's really hard to explain. <laughs> I found out that the person who wrote it is the same person who wrote Cloud Atlas and so I'm like oh that makes sense. Now I'm listening to this book called Dark Room by Minette Walters who which was given to me by one of my friends um, who really enjoys this author so I'm listening to it and I'm like <laughs> three quarters of the way through this book in just this weekend. Progress update is that I hand basted all of this together um, I guess I should zoom back out. How do I zoom? Nope, that's the wrong way. Zooming back out. So I hand basted along here and then with the pins in I machine basted along here again and then also down here to hold it so that there's as little chaos as possible when I have to sew this into the bodice because it exactly fits in the hole it needs to go into so I don't really want to deal with any jibber jabber. you know what I mean? Um, so this is what's happening currently um, and now I'm gonna go start the other half and hopefully make it even vaguely similar to this half <laughs> so we'll see okay it's on okay well it's mostly on I take out all these basting stitches and stuff but this thing because of the way it is on the inside like cannot go through my machine let me flip it Like, I can't stick this in there. <laughs> like, just my machine's like, what? Um, maybe I could stick part of it? I don't know. Anyway, I am thinking I'm just gonna hand do it. Looks like this. Um, I'm thinking I'm just gonna hand sew this on right now. Um, and hope to God it looks okay on the outside. <laughs> but I'm so, like, happy and relieved that it's on and done and the pleading nightmare's over. And now we can move on to the hemming nightmare and the closure which should be no big deal but i need uh my someone called claudine a sleeve witch so now she's just my sleeve witch <laughs> um so i'm gonna get to sewing this together so that i can call this project as done as i can get it without help Aww. that was my um little mermaid song in case you guys didn't understand that <laughs> um so we have a thing we 
and that's what it looks like currently. Um, pretty happy with it. I need to sew in the lining. Um, I don't really know if I did the back little tail thing. I don't know what do you even call this thing. There has to be a name for this, like a clinical name. I don't know if this is correct. It is the way it is though, and I'm leaving it. And the inside of it looks like kind of a mess, but that's fine. I'm gonna cover it with lining. Um, I think I also need to figure out how to like steam all these creases out. Cause like no matter no amount of ironing is helping that so far. Anyway, um, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I do kind of want to iron that before I put the lining in, so maybe I'll do some of that. Um, it's midnight, so I'm gonna call it for tonight and worry about the lining tomorrow. Um, or the next day or the next day. But I feel really solid about this. Uh, as soon as I get that lining sewn down, then this is feature complete until I get petticoats done. So probably that's the next thing I'll start working on.